Terrific. Thank you very much. You, you, of course, know the Stanley Cup. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you very much for being on the show. I appreciate it, sir. Where, what part of the uh, country were you born in, uh, as they say? Well, you were asking about that the other night. You were asking where uh, Port Arthur, Texas was. Yeah. Uh, I'm from Beaumont, a little town about 12 miles from Port Arthur, and it's... Uh, if you can get a close-up, I can show you where Port Arthur is. You have a little map on your chain there. <laughs> Port Arthur and Beaumont are right over here. It's the Golden Triangle. Oh, yeah. The right this part of Texas. Yeah. <laughs> now, when, when you started in music, you, you worked pretty much in your own neighborhood and stuff? <laughs> uh, the folks wouldn't, wouldn't let me out of, the, uh, out of the house until I was, oh, 14 or 15 because whew, it's hard work. Yeah. <laughs> Good band up there. Yeah, yeah yep. Uh, so, and sure. Excellent band. Uh, no, they didn't want to play in nightclubs until, uh, uh, I guess, until I was... Uh, 21 or so, but by the time I was 14 or 15, we were uh, getting out and sneaking around and playing clubs, and we played uh, any place, any place that would, that would let us set up, you yeah. know, after the basketball games, sock hops at first, you know, uh, uh, there was a, a kitty talent show that, that Edgar and I went on and did our uh, Everly Brothers thing <laughs> when, we were, when we were very small. But Now, how did the, how did the folks take to you guys when you were first uh, doing this? Uh, not, not, I don't mean your family, I mean the audience that you were... Uh, Working. I'll, I'll never forget the the, uh, the first time that uh, that I did Johnny Be Good for for uh, an audience. In fact, uh, it was it was a show. Uh, there, there was a movie called Go Johnny Go, starring Chuck Berry, one of the old rock rock yeah. and roll movies. And there was a contest uh, that uh, just playing the same guitar, playing the same guitar, right? Singing, playing guitar, and the uh, the winner of this contest uh, won uh, a record recording deal and. Uh, I'll never forget walking out on stage and everybody laughed. <laughs> They're like, what is it? <laughs> See, nobody was real sure, you know. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we ended up uh, winning, and uh, that, was, that was my first record deal. We made my first recording while I was 15. But, uh, yeah. yeah, people didn't know exactly what to think because uh, uh, there, there are not many albinos around, and especially uh, that many years ago in uh, the Deep South, nobody... Uh, knew quite what to what to think of us. And, and I'm, I'm guessing some of these places were, were not tea rooms to begin with anyway. No, no, we, uh, we were we were playing pretty pretty funky places at first. Yeah. And uh, were, were you ever in uh, danger physically? Not as long as I had my, uh, my guitar. Not as long as I could, uh, you know, get a good swing. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it used to be pretty hairy. You, yeah. You had to uh, be able to to play everything, you know, it'd be like, uh, uh, we want to hear it, Bruce Wade's shoes number again. Wow, well, sorry, I just played that song. You better play it again. I was in the bathroom. I didn't hear it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let me, uh, oh, uh, okay, um, I was going to ask you, I'll ask you anyway, and then we'll see what happens. Uh, this, this overnight success, now, uh, it, in your case, it, it literally was that, wasn't it? You, you guys were ready to go elsewhere, and, uh, when this happened, hey, we, we were ready to go to uh, to England. We were ready to hit Europe. We, we'd already been all over the states. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it, it was it was amazing. I, I figured, well, we we played all over, and the blues scene is bigger in Europe. So uh, I'll go over there and see. What see year was what that, happens. Johnny? That was in '68, and uh, I had cut a, a, a demo record, and for, I was over for two weeks. For the first week, nobody would listen to us. Finally. We, we uh, got a deal, and these, some real nice people said, yeah, you guys, we really like you. Come over and uh, we'll record you and uh, work out a tour, and that, that was just great. Yeah. So I, I went back home and told the band, and we were getting ready to pack up. You know, it wasn't a, we hadn't signed any contracts, but we were going to make the move and uh, pick up the Rolling Stone, and, and there I was, and uh, living black and white, man, right? <laughs> <laughs> gigantic picture of me, and it, it was uh, it was uh, an article on Texas musicians and how many good people had made it out of Texas, uh -huh. and how many good people were also starving, uh, sitting around there, uh, and said some really nice things about being. The article just completely changed things. Uh, people that, that didn't want to hear from me, wouldn't talk to me. Uh, the day before, were calling. I mean, people were calling from both coasts, yeah. overseas. You know. Uh, making these fantastic offers. So your life changed uh, immediately. Changed didn't it? Yeah. immediately. Uh, again, thanks for being here. It's terrific to see you. Uh, Johnny Winter, folks. Uh, we'll be right worldwide in Winter's Expo.